that. Okay, my name is Janet Hiller, and I am co-chair of adult ed at Temple Emmanuel. And I'd like to share the story of my father, who I say Kaddish for every year, throughout the year, and also for the high holy days. This is a, a pastel actually that I did of him, pastel portrait a, a few years before he died, uh, just a couple of months shy of his 99th birthday. And uh, he, <clears throat> he was a Holocaust survivor. And, and uh, before the war, he lived in a small town in Poland and he was a scholar. His parents sent him to Warsaw to study because he was a talented student. And he was a Talmudic scholar uh, for several years. And then of course the war came, this was in Poland and he had to go back to his family and they were shot, they were killed, most of his family. He and his brother were taken and because they were young enough, not children fortunately, because they were children were killed too, but they were taken to multiple concentration camps. And he tells us the story of how one of the selections, you know, they had selections where they would choose people who would live and who would die. Um, they've had two lines and he was told to go to the right. At this point, he was pretty weak and probably looked sickly, but miraculously he didn't. He went to the left and the guards didn't notice, but I'm sure um, that God was watching because he survived and um, a truly a miracle. Then after the war, he ended up in Bergen-Belsen, where he met my mother, and uh, that was a displaced person camp. And my brother and I were born. And then a year later, they went to the United States and were able to work hard for many years. And they had their own small business. They were successful and made sure we all went to college and that we were successful. And then when he retired, he moved out to Long Island to be near us, to be near my, my family and my children and my husband. And uh, right away he joined a conservative temple. He was always, always religious. He never gave up on his belief in God, firm belief in God. He prayed every day. And then I went to Minion every day <laughs> at this temple. They made him the Gabai, which means he corrected people reading the Torah. He was in charge of the Mishaberach blessings. And also he was at that minion every day. And when I would go out and about in town, people would come over to me <laughs> and they would say, oh, you're Janet Hiller, you're Harry Press's daughter. I love him, he's such a wonderful man. And he taught me how to say Kaddish when my parents died. And so now it's my honor to say Kaddish for him. And uh, I'd also like to say what my father used to say when he saw people doing mitzvot, he would say, you should live to 120. <laughs> So when you do your mitzvot, just think of my father, what he would say, you should live to 120. I wish you all a happy and healthy new year from my family and me. L'shana tova.